What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Last time I posted a video talking about my Sony a7 IV and my general thoughts on it. Also, uh, if you hear some rustling in the background, that's because I have a little puppy here named Kevin and Kevin's teething and we have carpet in the office so I can't trust him. So if you hear any kind of rustling in the background, I apologize. But anyways, I posted a video about the Sony a7 IV and somebody commented asking about the eye autofocus with apertures from 1.4 to 2.8. So today we're gonna test out different autofocus features that the a7 IV comes with. So let's get into it. So before we actually get into today's video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe down below. Liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing actually does help and I greatly appreciate it. Now without further ado, let's actually get into today's video. So the Sony a7 IV has a bunch of different autofocus features. Now, hey, stop it. You can't play with that, you can play with this. Now, I haven't messed around with all of them and I figured this would be a perfect opportunity to do such a thing. I'm just like, I haven't ever experimented with this, so bear with me. This is like, you guys are watching my first go at testing this. So I currently have three cameras rolling. So the camera that you see me filming on right now, that's the Sony a7 IV. I also have a GoPro Hero 10 out here to the left of me. And then I have my Sony a7C, which is down here. I'm, I'm switch over to that camera now. So I, I have the Sony a7C, which is right here, recording my HDMI monitor uh, to capture what the camera does as far as like the focus settings and stuff like that. So let's see, currently I have the eye autofocus on and you can kind of see in the other frame that it's attached to my eye. Now, I wanna test out a few different functions. So there's different focus modes uh, and I'll put some B-roll of how I turned on the eye autofocus on the a7 IV. But you're able to turn it off, you're able to set it to animals, you're able to set it to birds. And instead of like how I think the a7 III used to do it, instead of being either or, I currently have all of them checked off because I want it to focus on all of them. Yes, buddy, that's my hand you're licking. <laughs> yeah. He's licking my hand. Uh, apparently that's a sign that he loves me. but. Hopefully he goes to sleep soon. Anyways, so you can see that it's tracking me right now and I'm currently set to, let's see if I go here. I have the focus area set to zone. So if I switch it to wide, so now it's on wide autofocus. And let's see if I put Kevin in frame. So now it's tracking Kevin. I don't see anything around his eyes. Although I do have the eye autofocus set. Now you can also set um, face registry. So like you could register somebody's face if you wanted to. I think that's good if you're doing like a wedding or something like that. You could go to the bride and be like, hey, I wanna focus on you. I think you can do primary and secondary. So like the bride and groom could be the main faces throughout the day. Or let's say I'm vlogging and people like to walk in the background and they see me, I could set it to only focus on my face so that way it scans my face and it only registers my face and it doesn't, let's say somebody else comes in frame, it won't focus on them as much. I haven't tested that out yet. Uh, I, don't have, I don't have anybody with me to currently test that out, but I'll show you how to set up the face registration towards the end of the video or I'll just overlay some B-roll or something like that. But I can see, and I can see the A7C also sees it. There's a little square around my eye. Now that is because it's tracking my eye. I am at f2.8, but let's see if I cover my eyes. This is Kevin's shoe toy. So the autofocus is pretty good. I think that's as close as I can get. And then it goes back towards my eye, back to the toy, back to the eye. Now if I put the toy in frame as close as I want, it still sees my eye, so it's not gonna focus on my eye. Well, so it's not gonna focus on the toy because the square is on my eye, but as soon as I cover my eyes, now the focus goes back. Let's see, so it's got that on. I wonder now if I put both, me and Kevin. Kevin's closer. It's focused on that. Now it's focused on Kevin. Kevin Kevin's teething on me now. Okay, buddy. Back out of frame. All right, so that is with the wide range. Now let's switch it up. Let's go change the focus area to zone. So 
I don't know if you can see here, yeah, the A7C is picking it up. So there's a little zone around. So this whole area is the zone right there. And the iota focus is still working. So, but like, if I go out of the zone or you see as I move around, the square is still following me. So even though the zone is for the center, because I have eye autofocus on, it's still following me outside of the square. And again, I like, I'm literally just testing this out for the first time. I'm trying to see how exactly this works. I'm sure if I was to cover my eyes and maybe go out over here, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's focused on the, the photo of the NSX in the background. I'll go over here. Yeah, so now it's focused on the background, and if I go back in frame, it took a second, but it, it caught my eye back in frame, and now I'm back in focus. So we tested the zone mode out. Let's see if we go now to switch it to sensor fix. Oh, whoops. Sensor fix. So even with sensor fix, let's see if I come a little bit in frame. So it's registering that I'm there, but it's not focusing on me. And I don't know if that's because I'm, I don't know if that's because I'm, I'm not in a good focus range or what, but yeah. All right. So in center, in center fix, it's staying focused on there. Now, if I put my hand in the middle of the frame, it focuses on that. There's still a box around my face, but the, there's no dot around my eye right now. So it's actually not picking up my face and it's it's choosing to focus on the center which is that nsx photo behind me as opposed to my eye which is here now if i go back in frame now it's picking up my eye again because i'm back towards the center of the frame so let's say i don't know let's say i have a few different subjects right in the center of the frame let's see if i put kevin's toy in the center of the frame so if I have two things in the center, it's going to pick up on the eye and it's going to prioritize the eye with center focus. But if I go out of frame here, even though it sees my eye still, it's still focused on the toy because the toy is center of the frame. Oh, now it's also focusing on me. So, oh, okay. Now, now the dot is actually around my eye, but it's still focused on the toy, which is center frame. So that's how that works. If you have center fix, going to prioritize whatever's in the center of the frame um, but if you have two things in the center of the frame let's say your face as well as a toy then it'll choose your eye over whatever else is in the center of the frame so like I could put this in the center of the frame as close as I want and it's not going to focus but as soon as I cover my eyes no nope, a little too close yeah as soon as I cover my eyes it focuses on that as soon as I let go of my eyes now it's picking back up. Oh, that's the test for that. Kevin, what are you doing over here, buddy? What are you doing, buddy? Do you have to pee? All right, so that's how I autofocus works with that. Uh, let's see, manual spot. So manual spot is pretty cool. Uh, let's see if I, oh no, that's center. Let's focus it on the GTR. So now I have, now I have the manual spot on the GTR and it's still registering my face, but it's not picking it up. But I'm sure if I was to recenter it, similar to like I just did with the other one, now it's picking up my eye again and it's tracking it. It's tracking my eye, but as soon as I go out of frame, now I'm out of focus because I'm not within the parameter of the square. If I was, if I was in the parameter of the square, I would be in focus and it would be looking for me. But even though it recognizes that my face is there. It's not focusing on my face because I have the, the focus point set to the middle over here, which is where my hand is. All right, sorry, Kevin's getting antsy. I'm gonna put him down. All right, Kevin's down for a nap. He, he, has, a, he has a little bit of separation anxiety, so I put his bed in the room, he's laying down over there. But all right, so that's how manual that's how manual point works. So now let's go to expand spot. Oh, okay, so it's the same thing, but it's just a little bit expanded now. Now I am close to the middle, so it is following my eye, but if I go off to the side, the box is still around my face, but my face is not in the center over here where 
my hand is now, which is where the box is, and it's focused on my hand, but it's not following my face anymore. So now I'll go back to the middle. Now it's tracking my eye again. So those are all the different focus modes that I just went through. Uh, if I go back to the bottom, it's back at wide. So in wide, it's gonna, it's gonna follow me. This is zone again. So zone, I can actually, I can change the zone. So if I go, uh, I, I have the, the, what do you call it on? I'm not exactly sure which side. Uh, presumably this is the right. Uh, maybe it's the left. I, I have a mirror on, so I'm a little confused. But I, ha I have it on that side. Uh, you can see it on, on this view over here. Where is it? Yeah, you can see it on this view on the A7C. So it's following my eye, but as soon as I go out over here, let me see. So it could be focusing on me, because if I go right here, I'm in focus, but because I'm out of frame now, now it's focusing on the GTR poster behind me, and it's not focusing on me anymore. Although it still registers my face, it still sees that my face is there, because I have it set to only focus in the zone, it's only focusing on whatever I put in the zone over here. So, you know, this stuff will be in focus. Now my face is in focus because uh, I'm at a similar focal distance. But if I go back here, it's still registering my face. It still has the box around my face, but it's not around my eye because it's not tracking my eye anymore. Uh, and it's not focusing on my eye. So, yeah, I mean, this is, this is pretty cool. Uh, a few other things. All right, so I'm gonna switch cameras now. I'm gonna switch over to the A7C, or actually, I'll switch over to the GoPro. I got the GoPro running here. So the audio quality might change a little bit. Um, let's switch over now. All right, so we're on the GoPro now, and let's test out the different functions. Or let's, as a matter of fact, let's test out the face priority. So. Let's see, we'll go to menu. That's my movie settings that I was messing around with earlier. So we're gonna go down. And now we're gonna go to, let's see, face slash eye autofocus. So we're gonna click on that. Face, eye priority, and autofocus. So this is what turns it on. So now I have um, face, eye priority. I went through the menu and it's turned on, so on your A7 IV, it is the fourth one down. It's the third one in color, but it goes star, uh, record, like video camera shape. Uh, that looks like exposure comp or something like that. And then AF, MF, you're gonna go into the menu. And then it's the third option, face slash eye autofocus. And then you go in, and then that's how you turn on face and eye autofocus on and off. So we have it on. Face slash eye subject, uh, I have it set to human. Uh, I could set it to animal. So I have it set to animal. I wanna see now, I'm gonna record another video. I'm gonna bring Kevin back and see. So even though I have it set to animal, I guess I'm an animal because it's still recording my eyes. But Kevin, come here. Come here, bye-bye. I'm sorry, I know you're napping. But now, aha, see? So now there's a, a dot around Kevin's eye. So it's tracking Kevin's eye and his face. And I, I still have it set to zone mode like I did a, a minute ago. So now if I go back to me, now it has it back on me. And now if I have me and Kevin, come on Kevin, let's look at the camera. So now with me and Kevin in the frame, it prioritizes my face over his. Now it's going to his. All right, so. That's how the, the animal eye autofocus works. All right, buddy, go back to sleep. Sorry, sorry for bothering you. All right, so that's how that works. Let's turn that back off. Now let's go back into the menu settings. Let's see, subject selection. Okay, so I have them all. Let's see, narrows down the subject to be switched when face eye subject perform the custom button. All right, so that should just turn on what is selected, so I'm gonna go back to human so that way I don't forget. Uh, right eye and left eye, uh, I guess I can choose which one. Um, I have it set to automatic because I don't think it really matters. Uh, let's see, face eye, 
frame display. Oh, okay. So the little boxes that I was just showing a second ago, um, where, yeah, those little boxes right there, that is uh, what that function does. Let me set that back to the middle. Let me actually set this back to wide. I usually leave my focus set to wide. So let's go back to the menu. So yeah, the frame display, if I turn that off, then we no longer see the box around me anymore. And it, like the function is still working, it's still doing it. Uh, we just don't see it anymore. And I, I personally like to see it um, just because then I know it's working and it kinda, like I don't like to have zebras on or anything to know like what's in focus and what's not in focus. But at least if I can see that it's tracking my eye, I can trust that it's focusing if I'm in wide. So if, if I'm in wide autofocus, it should be focusing on me. If I'm in one of the zones, or the, the little square around the eye means that it's tracking. The square around the face, if I change the focus mode to there, where is it? Okay, so the square around my face is what selects my face. And then, let me see, let me change the focus mode here to zone. All right, so that box right there. No, I need to go over here. So that box right there, is tracking and it tells me that it's my face, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm in focus. But once it starts to go around my eye, I know that it's starting to track the autofocus from my eye. So now we're gonna switch it up. And then here is register face priority on. So now I need to register. Let's see, let's try and figure out how to register a face now. So face, eye autofocus. Sorry guys, bear with me. Uh, I know it's in the menu setting here somewhere. A7 for face register. Oh, could it be because I'm in video mode? Okay, so this is a whole nother thing. Uh, I also, I mean, everything I just showed you in video mode should also apply in photo mode. So it's currently focused on my face. And if I press the shutter, now you see that it's green around my eye because it's focused on my eye. But if I move and I still have the shutter pressed, it's not focusing or it's not tracking me anymore. But as soon as I let go, now it's following me again. Okay, and that's because I have it set to uh, single autofocus. If I switch it to, oh, whoops, I took a photo. Oh, that's a video. Uh, if I switch it to, uh, continuous autofocus, then it's going to continuously track me. I'm pressing the shutter right now and the, the green square is following me around. But um, yeah, so let's go back to the menu. I was trying to find the, uh, let's see, focus area, face eye autofocus, there you go. All right, so I was in, um, I was in video mode, but now I'm in photo mode, so it should let me do register, let's see, face memory. So I clicked on face memory, and remember I'm in photo mode, I had to get out of video mode and go into photo mode, go to new registration, and select me. Wow, okay, I've, ta <laughs> I've taken much better pictures in my life, <laughs> but now it's, now my face is registered. Um, so let's see, if I go to order exchanging, so I can put up to, it looks like eight. I can put eight faces in here. Uh, so let's say I have a bride, a groom, I can probably change the order to make it. I mean, I don't have another photo here. Let's go, let's see if I register Kevin's face. Kevin's sleeping, so I don't wanna bother him. Let's see, new registration. Okay. I have the new registration, so now let's go to menu, order exchanging. Hey, why didn't it save that? New registration. All right, so the funny faces don't work. I'm so sorry, Kevin. Do it for the vlog. So it's not letting me register another face, but Presumably, oh, that's because I don't have Kevin. 
I don't know how the animal thing is set up. So it's not letting me set up another face, but presumably uh, I'll be able to change the order for who is prioritized over who. Uh, and yeah, let's see. All of these are the same settings. Uh, let's see if I turn animal back on, if I can register Kevin's face. New registration. Kevin, I'm so sorry, buddy. I love you. I hope you know that. Still can't register. All right, so I can't register my dog's face, uh, but that's okay, it is what it is. Yeah, and I honestly think that is pretty much it. Uh, here's one thing I would like to test. I have high shooting on and I have continuous autofocus on and I also have the face registration on. So I'm gonna do a rapid shutter. I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures and I'm gonna see how it reacts and if all of the pictures are in focus. All right, so the photo's loaded. That's in focus, that's in focus. It's a little blurry. I think it's just motion blur that's making it not in focus. Yeah, that's just motion blur. I was moving too fast for the camera. That one's blurry, but again, motion blur. Motion blur, motion blur, motion blur, motion blur. Motion blur, in focus, motion blur. All right, I'm gonna up the shutter speed. Uh, and we're gonna see, we're gonna see just how good this works. All right, you guys ready? Let's do this. So I see the square was following me around uh, everywhere I moved. I don't know how good it actually captured me, uh, but once these photos are done, buffering right there. Yep, it needs to buffer right there. Cover my face, maybe I can get that in focus. Oh, it's done buffering. Okay, let's see. Oh, whoops. In focus, 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 in focus. Wow, pretty good. And I was just moving my head around. Oh, these are the previous ones. Very nice, very, very nice. All right, so we're gonna do one final test before we end out this video. So. I've been primarily on f2.8 this entire video. Uh, here I have the 50 millimeter f1.8. Now the autofocus on this thing is not amazing. So let's see how good the Sony a7 IV autofocus is with something that has as terrible of an autofocus as the Sony 50 millimeter. So I'm gonna throw this lens on and we're gonna see how it compares. It seems pretty fast, not for nothing. Like, like, all right, the 50 millimeter f1.8 is terrible with autofocus. Now I've used it with my a7 III, which has amazing autofocus. I don't think I've ever used it with the a7C, but I always, always, always have issues with focus breathing and it trying to find the focus uh, anytime I use the 50 millimeter f1.8. Um, but it seems to be doing a pretty amazing job. Now let's see if I change up. I mean, I already tested, hold on. Lips are kind of chapped here. Any, anybody that has ever asked me about the 50 millimeter, yeah, anybody that has ever asked me about the 50 millimeter f1.8, I always tell them that like it's a great lens to start out with, but the autofocus on it sucks. And it seems like the a7 IV is capable of still tracking me and still keeping me in focus with the 50 millimeter f1.8. And it's not trying to find other stuff. I'm sure if I didn't have. Uh, the eye registration on and I was just trying to do like two objects, maybe it'll be a little bit more challenging. Matter of fact, let's actually try that. So here I have the, stand up. So here I have the 24 to 70 that I just took off and here I have Kevin's chew toy. So now if I put this there, so that's the autofocus with that. Now it's autofocusing on that. And that's pretty good. I mean, I, I still have it set to wide autofocus, so it's, just taking whatever I guess is closer to the frame or closer to the lens and choosing that to autofocus on, but. All right, not so bad. But anyways, uh, it seems like it's tracking me pretty well. So I'm actually very impressed with the autofocus on the 50 millimeter F1.8. Uh, I really wasn't expecting that to work so well. So yeah, I guess, uh, I guess I'm gonna be using my 50 millimeter more often. Just because I also want to see how it works with the pictures, uh, I'm going to do another rapid fire and I'm gonna move around. Now, the focal distance, uh, or 
uh, what is it? Yeah, the focal distance on the 50 millimeter, uh, I'm not really sure how close I can actually get. It looks like this is as close as I can get. I'm not sure how far I can get. So I think I have enough of a range to move around. So we're gonna try it again. All right, and let's get it. All right, so let's see how this works now. All right, so let's play these back now. All right, that's not in focus, probably because of motion blur. That's in focus. Again, motion blur, motion blur, motion blur, motion blur. Damn it, I messed up. All right, so now we're gonna go 400 and let's test these out. All right, so the photos have buffered. Wow, these are all in focus. Holy shit, that's amazing. That one struggled a little bit. And now we're back to the previous ones. Wow, all right, well, there we have it. All right, let me switch back to the 24 to 70. All right, so there you have it. That is how the eye autofocus on the Sony a7 IV works. Huge shout out to JB for checking out the last video and leaving that comment. If it wasn't for you, this video would not be made. I hope I answered your question. I hope everybody that watched this video got something out of it. If you guys like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe down below. Liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing actually does help and I greatly appreciate it. And if you have any questions about the Sony a7 IV, let me know in the comments below because that's that's how this video was created. I listen to what people ask about and I do my best to answer questions. I have friends who are into photography and videography and you know they're either just getting into it or they're not super experienced and they have questions. So they ask them to me, I make a video, I send it to them, I say, here you go, here's the answer to the question you asked me in the best way I can possibly explain it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to support the channel, I have Amazon affiliate links for all of my gear listed in the description below. Uh, it really does help if you purchase anything through those links. Uh, I don't even think you have to purchase the actual gear. So if you want to support the channel, go check out all of the equipment that I currently own. And if you're interested in anything and you're going to purchase it anyway, you may as well just do it through my link. But anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Here we go, at the top of the class on the road, and it's time to run it up, yeah you know. Don't forget to like it, comment, and subscribe. Kevin, Kevin's teething on me now. <laughs>